and it is 10 o'clock. Good evening, everyone. I'm Brian Allen. I'm Andrea Anderson. When we last heard from tenants living on properties owned by Zadik Management, complaints were mounting up. Well, tonight, some of those tenants gathered to discuss possible action to improve their living situation. Parker Brown in studio with our 10 o'clock top story tonight. Hello, Parker. Hey, Brian and Andrea. The meeting was held at Rotary Park with tenants from multiple Zadik properties. The focal point of their discussions was peaceful legal action they can take and ways they can deal with many issues. They hope to address property neglect, utility gouging, and so much more. The Florida-based company Zadik Management has not made any changes since Dakota News Now last checked in with residents. Some say that things have actually gotten worse. They're going to retaliate against anybody, everybody, you know. There's people that won't speak up. There's won't, people that won't go on camera because they know as soon as they find out, you know, the property manager sees them on camera, they're going to go, oh, time to just start doing evictions. Mike DeWitt lives in Beersford, but his girlfriend lives in a Zadik apartment complex. He says that when his girlfriend gets off of work late at night, he drives up to Sioux Falls to walk her back into the building. Many residents will tell about violence, drugs, broken windows, litter, feces, squatters, break-ins, and new charges not originally in their lease. Why is nobody taking care of this? Why is the city zoning and commission and health inspectors and all that getting in there? Code enforcement, why aren't they getting in there? Somebody's got to come in and look at this stuff. They're not looking at it, but when it's three months old, Somebody's going to get in trouble. Tenants have already been retaliated against. Some have been evicted. Felicity Cronin isn't afraid of retaliation because she continues to document her experience. It's very frustrating because I'm only 20 years old. I don't have a college degree yet. So for them to charge me absurd amount of money when I don't have a lot of money coming in, it's very frustrating. She and Mike helped to initiate the meeting at Rotary Park to help residents learn what options they have to get out of their lease. But some can't leave, so together they continue to fight for someone, the city, the state, anyone, to take action. I ask questions to them and I get no response, no emails, no texts, no calls, nothing. Tenants are hoping to continue engaging with city and state officials to ask for help. DeWitt says that he hopes tenants continue to issue complaints and follow up on those complaints. Brian and Andrea. All right, Parker, thank you. 